visits, the soil has air and water in it. The grains of sand and clay that soil is made of do not fit neatly together. There are spaces between the grains that can hold water and air. Fine-grained soil, like clay, soil can hold water better than coarser-grained, sandy soil. Clay soil has small spaces between the grain of clay, but lots and lots of these tiny spaces. Sandy soil has large spaces between the grains of sand, but does not have as many spaces. Now, overall, there is more space for water in clayey soil than in fine-grained soil. Also, water passes very easily through the large spaces in sandy soil, but slowly through the small spaces in clayey soil. Sandy soil is therefore often dry after rain, while clay soil remains wet for longer. Plants prefer loamy soil with its mixture of coarse and fine grains. Loamy soil does not get too wet or too dry. Now let's continue with it to look at the soil and how it has remains of dead organisms and very small living organisms in it. You have already learned that some large animals like the adfark dig burrows and live in the soil. Smaller animals like earthworms and spiders also live in the soil. These animals all help to mix the soil up. The environment takes material laying on the surface like dead leaves and animals' bones into the soil. As the small animals move through the soil, they open up spaces for move air and water in the soil. This makes it easier for plants to grow. Apart from the animals that you can see, there are some millions of different kinds of very tiny living organisms in the soil. These are so small you cannot see them unless you look at the soil through a microscope. The very tiny organisms in the soil feed on the remains of dead plants and animals. This causes the dead plants and animals to decompose. Larger soil animals mix the decomposed remains with the soil as they move through it, spread nutrients through the soil and making it more fertile. Soil forms very slowly in nature and cannot be replaced when lost. Now, wizards, a rock breaks down very slowly into the small grains that make up soil. As a result, it takes many thousands of years for the soil to form. Plants need nutrients, rich topsoil to grow well. People and animals all need plants that grow well. People and animals all need the plants that grow in the soil. Topsoil can be washed away by water or blown away by wind. When this happens, we say that the soil is eroded. Once topsoil is lost, it cannot be replaced. It is important that we conserve our soil because all life depends on the plants that grow in it.